I'm back. <laughs> As I said on January 1st and also on New Year's Eve, that this year is all about self love. So I'm going to talk about it more and teach a couple of things to you each, each time I get back online. Can't promise every day. I did that for a whole other series of talks. There's 306, no, a thousand, excuse me, talks I did on Facebook Live that are up on my YouTube channel. Reach out to me if you want to find out more about that. These will be more random, but they're on the same theme, which is self love. So today, a little reminder that the way I talk about self-love, because a lot of people think out there, maybe you do too, that self-love is a very simple, um, simplistic panacea that makes you feel better for a moment. But what I'm about is the real true work of self-love is healing because it really gives you back to yourself. Because most people tend to look outside themselves for a partner, because I have to talk about relationships, and immerse themselves in somebody else's love to feel okay, but it tends to be like Chinese food, it wears off quickly. So the real work of self-love is to fill up your own battery. And it isn't just, okay, stick it in, I'm good. <laughs> it's actually more deep, it's more um, in-depth than that, it's deeper than that. What it's about for me, and this is why I work with my clients and love for working with on this, is self-love is the title but self-support, self-confidence, self-healing, self-care are all part of the package. And the real work is to unearth what's in the way and also to unearth what you love about yourself because the reality is self-love is not just doing the challenge work. It's also about how do you honor what's really working for you, who you are, what you're about, because that's deserving of the love as well. And sometimes, if you're like me, because I've done it myself, we gloss over that and we become too humble and modest because we don't believe that we are value, we are no value in that level. So self-love is also about the self-love aspect. I'll talk about that one in another talk more specifically. But this one I'll talk about the fact that we oftentimes suppress or deny our shadow to feel like we don't need to deal with that because that's too dark, that's too negative. The reality is there are gifts in the shadow. On my podcast, I recorded with my co-host last week we talked about the shadow work. And by the way, all the stuff I'm talking about, if you want to find out more about the links and where to find stuff, just message me. Some of it's in my bio, but not all of it. But definitely message me if you want those links and I can share them with you. And we talked about the shadow work because shadow work is where the real healing happens. Many people in the world, you can see them out there, you can watch them doing that because they unfortunately, by suppressing the shadow, like a beach ball, it keeps pushing up from underneath and the shadow work doesn't stay hidden for long. It will escape into the world in negative patterns, in self-criticism, in judging others, in blaming and everything else. Those things that we do and we think it's just because they're wrong, <laughs> I've got news for you. Most of the time, that wrongness we're thinking is on the other person is avoidance of facing our own wrongness inside. With love, with compassion, again, self-love. My work in the world and the work of my clients is to understand people when they navigate this work, that they're loving themselves through the journey so they can heal once and for all, and you can be free. If you want to find out more about that, reach out to me. I said in the last talk, apparently I'm now doing it, is I'm launching something in the next couple of weeks, which will be a group gathering of people who are really willing to do this work together and with themselves, with my help. So with that, I wish you a great day. Take care of yourselves, and think about how you can love yourself more in a kind, compassionate, and caring way. I'll see you again soon.